At this time last year, many businesses and homeowners in Sioux Falls were dealing with the aftermath of three tornadoes that touched down in Sioux Falls. The twisters hit Sioux Falls late at night on September 10th, sparking a busy overnight for those on the front lines of the disaster. Kelly Kelly Volk shows you how one of the critical agencies responded that night. 911, where is your emergency? Adam Bunger remembers one of the first calls he answered after the tornadoes touched down. For behavioral health, we're going to call that they've been hit by a tornado. You sit there for a second and you think, did I just hear what I just heard? You know, not only did a tornado hit, but it hit a hospital. Avera Behavioral Health Center was one of the many buildings impacted by severe weather that night. And we have all sorts of training. We have a lot of, we have procedures for how to handle everything. We don't have a procedure for three tornadoes hit at one time and one of them hits a hospital. And so it's at the, that point where everybody was inundated with calls. We have a building collapsed, the advanced auto parts store. Metro Communications answered more than 600 calls in a three to four hour period. To put that into perspective, on a typical day, staff members field about 850 calls in 24 hours. And you just start processing calls and you know you're busy and you know you're getting overwhelmed. While Metro Communications Director Scott McMahon is well experienced in this line of work, he had only been on the job full time in Sioux Falls for about a week when disaster struck. You know, it was really the first opportunity that I had to see how well uh, Minneapolis County, City of Sioux Falls, public safety agencies came together to manage such a um, terrible incident that happened. And one part of that team is right here at Metro Communications. The staff that was working that night, most of us have a lot of years of experience. We've worked together for a long time. Um, we just have a good working relationship. And it's, it's what we do. It's what we get paid to do. It's, it's not that busy every night, but every night it could be that busy. And so that's just what, that's our job. What kind of vehicle is it? In Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. Metro Communications had to call in extra staff to handle the high volume of calls.